Hello, shall we start? You're the only one who has joined, I suppose. Sankalpa, okay, Samir. Okay, Samir has also joined. Fine. Uh, let us start. Okay, let me present the screen. Can you see this, Sankalpa? Samir, is it odd? Yeah, fine, visible. Thank you. This is a very big chapter actually. Hydrocarbons, right? Yeah. So we were with IUPAC nomenclature. Fourteen chapter, I suppose, no? talked about all this. Then we were with IUPAC, rules for IUPAC nomenclature. Do you remember where we were, which one we were doing? Had we completed, started with alkanes ka? IUPAC nomenclature. I think we had just arrived over here. If I remember, to eleven. Okay. So straight chain aldehydes. I remember this. This uh, alkyl groups we had done. Okay. I think we were with rules for uh, IUPAC nomenclature, right? Last time. So here we go. Is it? Yeah. Okay. Let's go. Yeah. Let's go to rules for IUPAC nomenclature. Alkyl groups, you all know that um, a branch chain alkyl group is obtained by removing a hydrogen atom from any of the non terminal carbons of an alkene or by hydrogen. Yes. I guess we have to 
start from the second point of rules for IUPAC nomenclature of branch saturated hydrocarbons. We had started with the rules, but I'm just going back again. Uh, I'm just starting a little earlier so that it will be a revision. Is it okay? You mean to say this, na? We were over here. This. You're talking about this. I have to start from here, right? Is it correct? Yes, ma'am. Huh, so now I'm just starting a little bit from here so that uh, this will be just a revision. So alkyl groups, uh, you know it, but supposing somebody has missed something, so therefore I was just starting with alkyl group. I mean, just just already alkyl groups is done. I'm just, it is just a revision. So therefore I'm, I'm starting. Yeah. Samir, Samir is there. Okay, fine. Now let us go to an alkyl group, maybe straight or branch chain. Okay. Um, a straight chain alkyl group. This is, yeah, here. A branch chain, a straight chain alkyl group is generated by removing one hydrogen atom from the terminal carbon of an alkane molecule and is named by replacing A and E by Y, L. So alkyne, methane, methyl. That is, you remove one hydrogen atom and you get methyl radical. Ethane, you remove one hydrogen atom, you get ethyl radical and so on. Okay. And ending A and E is replaced by Y, L. Some examples have been given over here. Now coming to a branch chain alkyl group, it is obtained by removing a hydrogen from any one of the non-terminal. Now, this is where you are getting uh, non-terminal carbons of an alkene or by hydrogen from a branch alkene. So here you are. Um, here, this is isopropyl. Normal propane, propane does not have any branching. But when you remove the hydrogen from the second carbon atom, then it becomes isopropyl. Okay, uh, next is your isobutyl. So this group branching on the second carbon atom is called as isobutyl. When you remove the hydrogen from the sec uh, second uh, carbon atom, then it will become secondary butyl. You just see the difference between this. There's a branching on second carbon atom and One moment, uh, um. yeah, so here you can see that. Uh, this is branching over here. So it becomes iso. This is important. But where in this case, here you have secondary butyl group because the here it is. This is the first one. If you number it one, two, and three, then the, the hydrogen of this carbon is removed. Here you can see the hydrogen. This is a straight chain. There is no branching. But the hydrogen from the second carbon atom, if I number it as one, two, then second carbon atom is removed. And hence, it is called as secondary butyl group. And this can be very well seen as tertiary butyl group. Okay. So this is about... Um, remember this. There is a possibility of silly mistakes in uh, uh, this part. Now coming to this such a group is or uh, the group C6H5 is named as phenyl group and abbreviated as PH. Now coming to the rules for IUPAC nomenclature of branch saturated hydrocarbons. Let us go to the rules uh, one by one. We had started with this. Uh, select the longest continuous chain of carbon I'm, I'm audible, right? And uh, you all can see the screen. Okay, yes. thank you. Kai hota computer and then 
uh, sometimes I go on. I don't see the screen now. I don't see your you your uh, images now. I only see the book. Therefore, what happens is sometimes I'm lost. Uh, so therefore, I I'll be asking you in between like this. Select the longest continuous chain of carbon atoms to be called as parent chain. So you can see that this could be the parent chain. All other carbon atoms not included in this chain constitute the branches, side chains or branches. Okay. And uh, example has been given over here or the, they are also called as alkyl substituent. So this is it. For example, you can see that. Uh, here it becomes, this becomes the branch. One moment. Or this becomes the alkyl substituent. Hala mantla is the alkyl substituent. Okay. Parent chain has five carbon atoms. CH3 group is the alkyl substituent. Okay. Uh, next you can see that uh, this chain. Here you can see one, two, three, four, five, six. So here this becomes a hexane. And not like this. This is not the correct. Uh, why? Because uh, the number of carbon atom in this chain are not very less. And uh, therefore, you, are, you should be able to... Means you, apne nazar aise banani chahiye that you should be able to find out the longest possible chain. Okay? So, your, the way of looking at uh, the given compound, you should be able to identify the longest possible chain over there. Now, coming to... The next one, parent chain has six carbon atoms uh, and the methyl group is the alkyl substituent in this case. Okay, that is what we saw just now. This is the alkyl. If two chains of equal length are located, the one with maximum number of substituents is selected as the parent chain. So, for example, you can see that here, this is one way we, you can represent it. In this case, you have how many substituent? Ye wala ek substituent hai and ye wala ek substituent hai. Agar hum straight chain le lete hai to. Now let us see uh, I, any other way uh, possible to look at this chain. Yes, there is an other way possible to look at the chain. Kaun se wali hai? You can see that this is the parent chain. Hexane has two. Uh, the first one has two uh, uh, substituent. Agar aap aise jaoge, to yahan pe dekho. Here, this has got one substituent. So, this is not the correct chain to select. Remember the rules. Again, I'm telling you, you don't have to, you can buy, the, understand the rules for yourself. You don't have to buy hard them. I mean, no one will ask you, rule number 5 kya hai or rule number 4 kya hai. But you should know the rules for yourself only. That you should be able to uh, write down, I mean, uh, you should be able to, when you see any uh, compound, immediately you should be able to recollect the rules and then apply them. rules rules uh, I did I tell you just uh, upon A B C D uh hey Lahana Sana Shikto Anima Tachananta upon formation of sentence vagare applala grammar vagare hai shikka zato any tata vela te apply karat zato at a puni sangal lagat neki applala full stop sorry full stop uh takala paje kima uh comma takala paje kima surat karavile capital takal paje he apply ango any padlela sata such vala paje he conte uh ru uh he uh uh uh, compound bagitla organic ki then immediately you should be able to apply the rules to it okay fine log is possible chain look at the number of substituents alphabetical order all these rules are going to be there let us go one by one and understand how best we can then next is the parent chain is numbered from one end to the other to locate the position called the local number of the alkyl substituent the numbering is done in that direction which will result in lowest possible local number so you can have from this end or from this end which will have now say for example this is the uh, chain Yeah, so here you can see that CH3 group gets the number 2 because you are numbering it from this end. 
so and from this end if you do then it is getting the number uh, it, it comes on third carbon atom so this is not the correct numbering this is the correct numbering because the branching or the substituent should get the lowest possible numbering next is names of the alkyl substituents are uh, added as prefix to the name of the parent alkane okay so prefix is the substituent Uh, suffix is the main compound locant is the number or uh, given to it so here you are names of alkyl substituent added as prefix to the name of the parent alkane different alkyl substituents are listed in alphabetical order with which with each substituent name preceded by the appropriate locant number means when you look at this the first thing is the name of the substituent is separated from the locant number by a hyphen now what does this mean that first of all select the longest chain so this is my longest chain okay i'm just looking at this i'm not looking at the name given by them so this is my longest chain now which end should i start numbering whether i should number from left hand side or from right hand side i think left hand side why should i number from left hand side because the methyl group gets the uh, lowest possible numbering but if i start from the right hand side you can see that the ethyl group will get the numbering but it will get come on the fourth carbon atom so this is the possibility that is this i feel is correct 1 2 this is third this is fourth this is fifth this is sixth and this is seventh so now you can see that third three methyl now understand i can write it as three methyl four ethyl but uh, four, three methyl four ethyl okay uh, this is it and what is my hydrocarbon that is the parent chain the parent chain is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 7 7 carbon atom so first i should look at this so this becomes heptane why because it is an alkene and it has got 7 carbon atom but this naming is wrong why wrong because alphabetically e should come first and hence the name is 4 ethyl 3 methyl heptane and not 3 methyl 4 ethyl heptane is it clear have you understood so far one moment huh? yeah have you understood so far so need to lock them at the end of it double level right it double this thing i need double this thing Yes, Samir. You you had uh, two uh, this, you know, don don da this or that. But I think now we have adjusted it. Okay, fine. Uh, don on don on ke le hote ka. I think maybe your computer and mobile was on, so therefore it was seen. Anyways, it's okay. So now I was so first thing is that let us revise it over here. That first is select the longest chain possible. Okay. so first thing is longest chain a uh, longest chain can be manje uh, it can be straight chain it can be diagonally it can be manje ashi sudha asu shakte so tumchi nazar ashi tayar vhayla pahije ki which is the longest possible chain okay so you have to select it first thing then you are supposed to start numbering then you have to see whether it is alkane alkene or alkyne whether it belongs to alkene alkene or alkyne if it is alkene fine then look at say for example this is i'm just putting it over here ch3 ch2 ch ch3 and ch2 it's a ch3 okay fine so then this is my longest possible chain anyways i go i get the same thing so if as sari mi gele ka ki ma if i go straight also then better to go straight so if i go straight i am i getting four carbon atom so i put the name as but okay so this becomes butane the, here there is a uh, 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 straight i mean here there is alkene so i put it as butane there is no alkene over there alkene numbering uh, will be later on so here 
and then i start uh, numbering to it so if i start numbering over here then you can see that if i start from this end 1 2 and 3 uh, methyl group is the alkyl group which is there it is coming on the third carbon atom and hence this is not the correct numbering let me start from the right hand side i th think so yes the numbering is coming proper because uh, it is two methyl uh butane fine now you can understand that between the uh figure that is this two and the word you can see there is a dash over there that is called as a hyphen so hyphen also is important and between two numbers you should be putting a comma so that we'll see later on there are also certain rules that whenever you have similar groups then di tri tetra all those things also come so as we go further we'll learn about those uh rules also fine so here we are the name is 4 ethyl 3 methyl heptane and not 3 methyl 4 ethyl heptane very good let us go further when both the numberings uh, give the same set of locants that is that numbering is chosen which gives smaller locant to the substituent having alphabetical priority uh, thus the iupac name of the following structure is 3 ethyl 4 methyl hexane and not 3 methyl 4 uh, ethyl hexane so now another compound is been given to us say for example this is the next example here what does this rule tell us now see here you can see that uh again the straight chain i can consider it as my longest chain possible fine so here i am looking now you can see that there is one substituent over here and there is another substituent at this end okay uh let me rub this out because akshar khup jade hai let me just see if i can reduce the yeah okay so now you can see that this is ch3 and you have uh, this uh, ch2 yeah so here uh, if you start numbering from this end one this is not c and d yeah if you go 1 2 3 4 so this comes as 3 methyl but if you start from the other end now let us see let us go from the other end uh if i go from this end 1 2 and 3 so the ethyl group comes on the third carbon atom manje davi kadna uzvi kade gele tar mala methyl group third carbon atom var eto and if i go from left uh, right to the left the methyl the ethyl group comes on the third carbon so according to this i feel that the ethyl should be given the priority because it is alphabetically before end so this should be 3 ethyl and 4 methyl and not opposite that is your 3 methyl and 4 ethyl remember that okay is it clear atta paryanta kalla hai sagalanna have you understood please put it in the chat box if you have understood it okay clear no so longest possible chain see the branchings and uh, we have to number them number should be alphabetical order also has to be considered while numbering okay now let us go to the next part if two or more identical substituents are present the prefix di tri tetra and so on are used before the name of the substituent to indicate how many identical substituents are there the locants of identical substituents are listed together and separated by comma so now if you have di tri tetra then you should be uh, let us look at an example they have not given any example for di tri tetra okay say let me just take it i will put it over here let us take that example say for example this is it ch3 ch
Okay. Can you tell me what is this? The name of this compound. Can you chat? Type it in the chat box. First of all, see the longest possible chain, then the numbering, and then see the alkyl substituent. I think I'll do it over there so that I can see what you are typing. Trimethylhexane. Uh, yes, uh, so trimethylhexane is correct. But what about the numbering? Sankalpa, you haven't given any numbering. Please give uh, the numbering to it. One moment. Let us go back to it. Let us see. You have said trimethylhexane, right? Let me just... Yeah, let uh, yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six. Very correct. So this is the longest chain which you have selected. Fine. And there were three methyl groups. Very correct. Beautiful. But what about the numbering? You haven't given it as a numbering. Please give it a numbering. So. Yeah, can you give the number? Hello? Huh? Huh? Bola, I'm going class. Hello, Amazon. Like online. Sorry, uh, where were we? The compound which I have put in. Correct, very true. Now let me see the numbering, what you had put. One, two, three, four, five, and six. So this is six carbon atoms, so hexane. So this becomes two, four, No, I am wrong. Correct. What you had done is because this end gives you maximum. One moment. Huh? Let me just. I missed it. I have to give numbering from the other end. That is this end. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Very correct. Why? Because if I start from that end, that time you can see that there was only one substituent and other substituent were at farther end. But if I start from this end, then you can see that you have two and three, which are getting the nearest. The substituent should get the nearest possible number. And also you can see the total should be less. Two plus three plus four plus five plus six. Okay. This is what 8 and 10. This comes as a total of the substituent. And if I started from the end, which I was just now talking, let me go from this end. That is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. If I go this way, you can see that the purple color total comes as second carbon atom plus you have four carbon atom plus you have fifth carbon atom. So the total is 11. So which is the lowest possible numbering? So this is the lowest possible numbering. So you are, this should be uh, correct as Sankalpa had put in that it should be 2, comma, 3, comma, 5, comma, then uh, your trimethyl, trimethyl, because there are three methyl groups. 
trimethyl and then how many carbon atoms six carbon atom hexane okay is it clear then here between 5 and t you should put the hyphen between 2 and 3 and 5 there should be a comma is it clear have you understood it have you understood okay fine everybody suraj samir yes because only sankalpa is answering you are not answering therefore so here and he is uh, given 2 3 5 trimethyl hexane correct but in between 2 3 5 5 and uh, t uh, you should I mean, that try you should be putting a uh, dash okay and trimethyl is one word okay good very good Trimethyl hexane was right. Two, three. Yeah, you had given the answer earlier also. Fine, I missed it. What happens when I see the screen? I don't see what you are writing. Okay, very good. Now there must be as many numbers in the name as the substituents. A digit and an alphabet is separated by a hyphen. That is what we have been talking about. That a digit. What happened? Shall I? I think white color. Yeah, a digit and an alphabet is. Separated by a hyphen. The prefix di, tri, tetra, secondary, tertiary are ignored in alphabetizing the substituent. Substituent and parent hydrocarbon names are joined into one into one word. So here you should have a substituent and parent hydrocarbon names are joined as one word. There should not be any space in between. That was what, as I was telling you, that. no don't keep any space over there make it as one word now coming to branch alkyl note that isopropyl comes before methyl i comes earlier so iso is understood and it is it should come before methyl now coming to branch alkyl groups uh having no accepted trivial name Uh, with the longest continuation beginning at the point of attachment at the base name branch alkyl groups having no accepted trivial name is named with the carbon atom of this group attached to the parent chain is number as 1 name of such substituent is enclosed in bracket okay anyways let us see what it means that branch alkyl group having no accepted trivial name now trivial names are certain common names such as isopropyl isobutyl but here these are certain branch uh, alkyl groups they don't have any trivial names uh, we, uh, is named with the longest continuous chain beginning at the point of attachment at the base name so here you can see that um, this 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 is propyl this is already attached to the main chain so this is 1 to dimethyl propyl okay because there are two already uh, substituents over there and this whole thing is attached to the main chain now in this case you can see that this is a branching and this is you are having uh, three substituents and hence it is 1 1 3 3 so here it says branch alkyl groups having no accepted trivial name is named with the longest continuous chain beginning at the point of attachment at the so this is the point of attachment uh, here so from there you can have 1 1 3 trimethyl butyl now for for example this is the complete uh, example that they have given us and at the bracket bracket also should be there so for example here let us look at this uh, this is the longest possible chain 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so this is this is the main chain i suppose uh, hopefully they should be there if i go this way 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 this is also coming up. then this is the straight because it has many substituents See, it has got three substituent so what does it say now from which end we should be uh, giving so this these are seven these are seven car, uh, carbon atoms so this is a heptane so yahan pe heptane likha hai then you leave so much space because you have to put in all these uh, substituent now you can see that if you start numbering from this end 1 2 this is a second carbon atom this is the third carbon atom and this is the fourth carbon atom 
so 2,3 dimethyl. Why? Because there are two uh, methyl groups. Simple. 2,3 dash dimethyl. But on the fourth carbon atom, you can see that there is a huge chain. Which change chain it is? You can see that this is the yeah. This is four. Uh, four is the main chain number, and here you can see four. One methyl actually between one and methyl there should be a dash over here which is not shown. So uh, here you can see that four one methyl propyl because why the this is because this is propyl this is this group is propyl group. So a chain ko or a chain hai. So this is uh, actually the main is usko chain hai or usko or a chain hai. So therefore this is at which position to so starting point is one. So here you have. So it should be bracket may one dash methyl propyl bracket complete and heptane. Have you understood this? Ye thoda tricky hai, but I hope you have understood it. Let me just come back to you people. Kailaka, have you understood what it says? Yeah, when there is a branching of branching. Okay, then you are supposed to put it as the common name. Say for example, there is something like this CH3. Abhi, that example is only there on my mind. CH3, then CH, then you have this was like CH two This was it now. So see. Hum log aise nahi karenge. Let us do one thing. We will take it as something at least different. So इसको CH2 करते हैं और यहाँ पे CH3 लेते हैं। Okay, ऊपर ले लिया मैंने। And then you have ये ये ठीक है, ये बराबर है, ये बराबर। This is correct, this is correct, and this CH2, CH2, and CH3. Okay, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, and if I go this way. One, two, three, four, five, six. Or if I go this way, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, here you are. So you are getting a longest chain. They go this way. One, two, three, four, five, and six. This is hexane. Hota hai. But if I go this way, like this. One this way, then this becomes heptane. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So the parent is heptane. Okay, I am writing here heptane. Then at what position does it have? So now which end should I start numbering? Okay, fine. This end only. One, two. So there is a methyl group on the second uh, carbon. So I am writing here two methyl. Okay, and after that, what do I have? Here you are. Isko tum isopropyl bol sakte ho. You can call this as four isopropyl. One, two, three, four. I can put it as four. Yaha na chahiye, but jaga nahi hai. Four isopropyl heptane. Ye simple naam hai. Four isopropyl heptane. But if you feel that you have to give more technically correct, then you can put it as uh, instead of four isopropyl, you put it as four or uh, you can put it in bracket. You put it as uh, one methyl ethyl heptane. Have you understood? Did you understand what I did? Sure, Sankalpa, you didn't understand. Okay, correct. Um, shall I put it? I hope I remember this compound which I see. What was it? CH3, CH, I 
I'm not able to recollect that compound. I think it was this way. Okay. Is this compound clear now? Now, if I have to number and look at the chain, which is the longest chain, if I count this way, one, two, three, four, five, six, this becomes hexane. No, this is fine. But if I look at this way, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So ye, this, this is my longest possible chain. Okay. Is this okay? Is it correct? Sankalpa, have you understood the longest possible chain? What I did over there? Fine. Let me go further now. Huh. Now, if so, this how many carbon atoms are there? Seven carbon atoms. So I'm putting it as heptane over here because that is my main chain. So I have put in heptane. Okay. Now let us look at uh, numbering. From which end should I number? This is abhi isko branching pehle dekho. There is I'll put some different color over here. A putting. This is one branching. Okay, and here you have another branchings. Okay. Do you all agree that there is these are the two branchings? So numbering kaha se karna hai mujhe? I will start from this end. One, two, this is second, this is third, this is fourth, this is fifth, this is sixth, and this is seven. Okay. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So here you are now. What is the branching on the second carbon atom? Methyl. So, I have written here 2 methyl. Okay. Next, branching on the fourth carbon atom, you have 4. This group, this group is called as isopropyl. Agar you, if you remember, alkyl radical mein a group tha jisko humne aise dekha tha. So this is it. This group is called as isopropyl group. Okay. So ye wala. So I can write the name also as isopropyl heptane. This is also my correct name. So ye ho gaya hai. But you have to, is it clear? Have you understood this? Isopropyl. Fine. Is it clear to all of you that it could be isopropyl? Okay. Now, if we go as per the branching which they have told us, ki yahan pe dekho, here they this this type of name, this type of name, yahan pe, it is a branching of branching. Same way. Usko, now I'm giving it that branching of branching instead of isopropyl. I'm not writing it as isopropyl, but this is my branch. Wo branch ko, there is another branch. Okay, let me use this color. So this branch is there. This branch is on which carbon atom? First carbon atom of the branching. Branching is of two carbon atoms. So, is ke liye, the name now changes to 2-methyl. That 2-methyl remains the same. 2-methyl and 4. It is on the fourth carbon atom of the main chain. Main chain is heptane still. Wo badal nahi jata hai. So, 4. Okay. Then you put it into the... Uh, need not be. There should not be any dash. Okay. 4. Then four ke baad what it is there? It is one methyl. So one because one of the this the branching is of methyl. One methyl. What is the branching? It is of two carbon atoms. It is ethyl and then bracket complete and heptane. Is it clear? Samaj me aya ye. Jaise ye kya tha? Dekho four. 
यहाँ पे ओके हियर दे हैव पुट अ डैश वी हैव वी कैन पुट अ डैश एंड देयर शुड बी एक्चुअली अ कॉमा आई फील बट देन देयर इज अ सी हियर इट इज टू दिस इज द मेन चेन सो दिस इज चेन इज ऑफ हेप्टेन एंड देयर आर टू मीथाइल ग्रुप सो टू थ्री डाइमीथाइल और यहाँ पे यू हैव ऑन द फोर्थ कार्बन एटम यू हैव दिस वन मीथाइल वन मीथाइल ऑफ द चेन द ब्रांचिंग इज ऑफ द ब्रांचिंग branching is of three carbon atoms so propyl and one methyl there should be a dash over here so heptane same thing i did for the compound which i showed you just now jo maine kiya hai that here you are this is our main chain ye methyl ka hai isme koi dikkat nahi hai there is no problem over here ithe kai is problem nahi so apan hela mantle two methyl पण इथे जेव्हा तुम्ही बघता त्यावेळेला फोर्थ पोझिशन वरती तुम्हाला ऑलरेडी एक चेन आहे आणि त्या चेनला सी एच थ्री हे ब्रांचिंग आहे ते ब्रांचिंग कुठच्या कार्बन आयटम वर आहे फर्स्ट कार्बन आयटम ऑफ दिस चेन व्हॉट इज दिस चेन इट इज द इथायल ग्रुप सो इथायल व्हॉट इज इट वन मिथायल सो वन मिथायल सो फोर फोर हा आला देन यू हॅव वन दिस वन मिथायल ऑफ इथायल so this ethyl bracket complete heptane is it clear have you understood this so man which naming is better uh, i see if you can remember isopropyl is very easy so you name it as isopropyl correct good question but isopropyl i would prefer that isopropyl naming is better simple त्याच्यामध्ये काही गडबड नाही आहे सो इन दी एक्झाम दॅट इज अलाउड आयझोप्रोफाईल ग्रुप सी आयझोप्रोफाईल ग्रुप बट इफ द सच ग्रुप्स आर नॉट अवेलेबल देन यू हॅव टू गो फॉर ब्रांचिंग का ब्रांचिंग बिकॉज हिअर यू आर समटाइम बॅक वी जस्ट सॉ इट राईट वेन आय वॉज टेलिंग यू यू सेट सी हिअर यू आर आयझोप्रोफाईल दिस वॉज समथिंग दिस इज द सेम थिंग विच आय हॅव जस्ट नाव शोन दिस वेन देर इज अ ब्रांचिंग ऑफ आयझोप्रोफाईल सो दिस इज द इथायल ग्रुप अँड ब्रांचिंग इज ऑन द फर्स्ट ऑफ इथायल ग्रुप बट दॅट ग्रुप इज कॉल्ड एज आयझोप्रोफाईल सो ऑलवेज दिस इज अलाउड सो यू कॅन यूज दिस अँड इट इज मोर सिम्पल सो देर फॉर वेअर इट वॉज हिअर सो टू मिथायल फोर आयझोप्रोफाईल हेप्टेन दिस इज सिम्पल अँड इट इज इझी दिस इज लिटल कॉम्प्लिकेटेड बिकॉज यू टू लुक ऍट विच इज द ब्रांचिंग ऑफ ब्रांचिंग अँड देन यू टू इज इट क्लिअर हॅव यू अंडरस्टूड fine okay we'll get some maybe at this level your level they may not ask you all such big big compound but it is always better to know uh, the uh, uh, this you know so have you understood okay fine let us go to the next one iupac nomenclature of unsaturated hydrocarbon now alkenes as well as alkyne so here you are we completed here the alkenes uh, nomenclature now um, Uh, see this i i want you all to do the homework see the seventh standard student ask me uh, whether uh, homework uh, miss uh, please give us homework it is only sankalpa who gives uh, the homework does the homework some uh, suraj and uh, samir you are supposed to be uh, doing the homework what is the problem uh, uh, now are there any yeah suraj you have asked a question are both names right both names are correct yes okay only thing is now i am going to give you that as this will be your homework what else is say complete the following table so here you are wherein you are supposed to complete the numbering show the numbering how it is and uh, you have to complete this table and send me the homework okay so we'll solve this before we go further अल्किन सिकडे नाही आहे ना दिस इज ओनली अल्किन कम्प्लीट द फॉलोइंग टेबल लेटर्स जस्ट सी दिस एक्झाम्पल हिअर यू हॅव सी एच थ्री सी एच थ्री सी एच टू सो द नंबरिंग इज गिवन फ्रॉम द लोएस्ट कार्बन ऍटम दॅट इज सेकंड कार्बन ऍटम सो इट इज प्रिफिक्स इज टू मिथायल आय यू पी एस सी नेम फोर कार्बन ऍटम सो ब्युटेन सेम थिंग इज फॉर हिअर यू कॅन सी दॅट any ways you go this way also you can go this way also you can go so you can see that if you take the straight chain there is branching on the second carbon atom to to dimethyl and how many carbon atoms three so propane is there here also you can uh, go and just check which is the longest possible chain whether straight chain or whether 1 2 3 4 
or uh, I think one here, one, two, three, four, and five. You can see that just now I'm ex giving you this clue. One, two, three, four, and five. So my longest possible chain is this. Not only you can't end it over here. You have to go down and also check it. Okay. So you complete that. How it is going? Then it becomes very easy. Here also you can see that whether longest possible one, two, three. Four, five, six, or you can one, two, three, four, five. Uh, how many? One, two, three, four, five, six. So you select whichever you find it more easy. Same thing over here. Now, when there is C two H five group, then you are supposed to divide, break it down into. Kadi hi C two H five group asel ata, the tala kasali has a C H three and C H two and C H three. Okay, so that there the carbon atom number increases and you have to take the count. So one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So you decide how to go this way or if you ha have to. So based on that, which is the longest possible. But here I can see the longest possible chain can be this way. See here, this is how many. This this can be broken as CH three CH three. CH two, CH, CH, CH two, CH two, and CH three. Plus, you have a branching of C two H five over here. I'm talking of this. Hello, me break up. Kela one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So my longest possible chain becomes like this. Do you understand that? Because it is. Uh, C two H five. So break down that C two H five and find out the longest possible chain. Same thing you can do it over here. That ithe pan tumala the longest possible chain can be this way or uh, this way or so you have to check out for the best possible which is the longest one because see when this is C H two then you have to make it as C H two C H three then you have uh, this is attached to this. Uh, Uh, so this way, um, let me write it this way: CH three, CH two. Then you have C, then you have CH two, and C, and then you have ethyl group here, C two H five, and you have ethyl group over here. So then this becomes one, two, three, four, five. So this way it becomes pentane. Anyways, this way it becomes pentane group. Are you following what I'm doing over here? Has over here. This is going to be a homework. But I'm helping you to solve this as to look look out for longest possible chain. Have you understood what I did over there? So whenever it is CH two, Samir, Sankalpa, have you and Suraj? Yes. So you have to break it down and see for the longest possible chain. Is it clear? Yeah. Next uh, five minutes are there. Uh, we can just start with the alkenes. IUPAC nomenclature of unsaturated hydrocarbon alkenes and alkynes, so that this page will be completed. Or maybe we can start it next time. Asa todun todun na ko karala. So let us start it. And so please complete this homework. Here you are supposed to num show the numbering over here. You have to show the prefix over here, and then you have to give the IUPAC nomenclature. Then alkenes is also similar to al uh, apna alkanes only, but only double bond gets the priority. And then you have IUPAC. You know, this chapter is very big. How many uh, uh, different different compounds, polyfunctional compounds? Two hundred and fifteen, sixteen. How many pages are there? One. Minute, let me see. Two hundred seventeen. Eighteen. Nineteen, Bapre, so much twenty, twenty one. So ending only twenty three. Some part is reduced, but I don't want to reduce that part. Twenty five, twenty six. Twenty-seven, twenty-eight. Eka chapter hai ka? Two twenty-nine. Two twenty-nine pages are there, and we are still on page number. We are still on page number fourteen, I suppose. Now, so so many pages we have to do. 
but i can't go fast because this is new concept to you and i don't want to rush into it because otherwise you will not follow it properly so we are still here i suppose alkenes let us see how best we are 2000 214 page bara hota par anyways so i hope um, yeah you do the homework and uh, so it will be put on the google classroom ha huh? i'll put it on the google classroom and so let us end our meet today and we have completed the nomenclature of alkenes tomorrow next time we'll start with the nomenclature of alkene have they started with um, your this no, uh, classes on i mean college this lectures or your admissions are now over or yes yeah, they are going to put second list and uh, third list na admissions are resumed okay fine sankalpa which college you have got the admission you said that you have got and um, started so, what has started admission started okay ruya college oh very good my college your suraj your which is your college suraj tomorrow is the second list okay suraj which college is suraj into he has also sankalpa you are into first list or what how much percentage you had got in uh, this uh, you are uh, 10 standard Wow, ninety-seven. Great. Which board you are in? You were Sankalpa, CBSC. Oh, lovely. Very nice. Oh, so this you must have done earlier also. I. Uh, acha, Suraj. Which is your college? Has started. Which is your college bar? And uh, New English School Junior College of Science. Where is it, Suraj? Ahmednagar. Oh, you are there from Ahmednagar. Oh, lovely. Acha. Very nice. Good, good. Fine, fine. Okay. So let me meet. Uh, and then uh, only Samir uh, is uh, tomorrow is the second list. Fine, fine. So, uh, uh, so Sankal Pure College is uh, started or not? Only admissions have started. Admissions have resumed. So they haven't yet started teaching. Not yet started. Okay, okay, fine. anyways uh, good so let us meet uh, next monday till then stay safe and take care please try to do they will start after the second day not yet start okay and they have cut lot of portion uh, um, but i am going to teach it let us see only at the end uh, we'll see how how to cut because uh, there is uh, we, we should learn everything since we have started it early we should learn uh, everything i don't want to but uh, some part has been reduced that is what they are saying for the 11th standard anyways that apart uh, we will uh, continue okay chalo bye bye take care stay safe okay i am leaving